up YouTube? Welcome back to Ambitions Vapa. First off, I want to give a shout out to all my patrons that have donated to my channel. I highly do appreciate you guys. Month of May is coming up, so a lot of giveaways coming your way. And I also want to give a shout out to Wicked Wattage. He has a YouTube channel. He is from Boston like myself, and he's an upcoming review. He does some pretty good reviews, and I want to give a shout out to him. Go check out his channel, subscribe, leave a like, watch his videos, give him some support. He's trying his best. I like his stuff, and he's local. Today's review is on the Pilgrim GTA by Digiflavor. Let's take a look at it. So this was sent to me from Digiflavor. For the purpose of this review, thank you very much. It will not change my opinion. This is a GTA. So it's kind of like an RDTA. It's got a velocity style deck, 4 ml tank capacity on the bottom. It does have a Ultim tank shell, not glass. So that is cool. You can use your 510 drip tips or your Goon compatible drip tips, which is a pro as well. Single and dual coil options. And um, pretty unique how they did it. Pretty unique how you fill it. It's pretty much leak proof. And um, I got a Half Moon Mods drip tip on top, sitting on top of the Apocalypse DNA 250 by Vaporized Nomads and Armageddon Manufacturing. So I have uh, James Mucklin 27 gauge Aliens. It's a 0.14 ohm build, 110 watts to vape. So what we're going to do in this review, guys, we're going to dive down. I'm going to show it to you, um, take it apart, put a build in it, wake it up, the whole nine for you guys. Then we'll come back up top. We'll vape on a talk on it. Pros and cons, final thoughts. If a mugger stole my book bag and this was in it, would I go out and buy it? I'll let you know how much it is, where you can find it, and I'll also be giving one away. All right? So stay tuned. Sit back, relax, grab a vape. Let's dive down and check out the Pilgrim GTA. Convenient top fill system, adjustable side airflow system for perfect flavor velocity style deck for both single and dual coil, capable of your 810, which are goons, and your 510 drip tips. All right, this is a sample package. Yours will definitely come in a different style of packaging. You're gonna open it up and you will get your Pilgrim GTA. And inside you would get a 510 adapter, some clear O-rings, and a screwdriver with some grub screws. Four of them. All right. Now here is the Pilgrim GTA. Let me give you some specs. It holds 4 ml of e-liquid. It does come in stainless steel and black. I don't know why, but they sent me two stainless steels. Uh, I would have liked to show you both colors. It's kind of stupid. They should have shown me both colors. It's 25 millimeters in diameter. 44.19 millimeters tall. It's 25 millimeters in diameter. It's about 7.46 wide. 2.60 millimeters tall. The specs on it. So it does have a Pilgrim logo on top. It says Pilgrim on the bottom. It has an Ultim tank section and an Ultim 510 drip tip on top of this one. You can unscrew that, nice threads. Now that's a proprietary drip tip. Um, but uh, you can stick your 510 drip tip in top of that and it does go in, okay? But that's gonna be super tall and super ugly. But you can do that, all right? So it's got Ultim, good threads, beautiful machining on there, all right? And then you have the top fill system. So you can fill on those two holes, okay? That's the chimney. Then you have single and dual coil option airflow. As you can see, you just turn, single, turn it all the way the other way, and then you got dual, as you can see. Now, if you continue to turn that, a little squeaky. So the airflow goes in, where is it? 
it just goes side it's side airflow so it goes in and up and then that is the juice flow on the sides all right now I do wish it was a little bit more conical in there but uh, it is what it is on the bottom it does say pilgrim you have a gold plated 510 connection it is protruding you can use this on a hybrid very nice threads all right it's 25 millimeters in diameter that's my serial number designed by digi flavor all righty and then it has an ultim tank now this turns as well all right i don't know how to take this off i took out the 510 you can take out that 510 And then you can use the flathead and undo that one, but that's going to undo the deck, the positive post. All right, so I, I couldn't figure out how to, I don't think you can take this off. It spins and stops. And I'll, un, I'll show you why it does that in a second, okay? But then you have this, it comes with this block as well, so you can do a single or a dual coil. So you can just pop that out. That's like a silicone grommet, okay? That is the gold-plated positive pin. You can just pop that back in. And you're back in business. Peak insulator, very nice. Velocity style posts, kind of a small post design, all right? Flatheads, they use little flatheads. And those are the post holes. They're about two millimeters in diameter. Now it doesn't come with uh, Allen key grub screws. I would like to see them add those with it to have both options. I don't like two small flatheads. It's just annoying. This always slides out. It always just slides out when I'm doing it. It's very annoying to me. If they were bigger, sure, but the two the too small. But some people like that, so it is what it is. You got a O-ring here. You got good threads there. We're gonna be using some uh, James Mucklin 2736 N83 millimeter aliens. Comes out to a 0.15. Links are in the description where you can grab these. The $10 shipped. They're my favorite coils.
Chuck Clouds Red Velvet E-Liquid. Red Velvet Cupcake. Okay, so you have to be very careful of your build. All right? I'm going to show you why. That chimney is small. You have to put, if you're going to put three millimeter IDs, I would recommend 2.5s. If you're going to put it, these in there, you got to put them in really, really close. I barely got them to fit. Okay, as you can see, the airflow is near the post. So you're going to turn the bottom. Until it's in front of the coil. Now, if you look down, you can see the cotton. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the tank, which is kind of cool. So. back up top let's vape on it talk on it pros and cons final thoughts and I'll give one away I'll see you guys in a minute so we're back from the close-up on the Pilgrim GTA that's right got a nice little drip tip on top it's not really the most matchy matchy but it's all good um boo. what do I gotta tell you about it well um, I like the Ultim tank shell it doesn't come with additional altum or glass or anything like that so that could i guess kind of be a con in a way um i can't take the shell the the the, the ultim off i can take the top piece off i can take the afc ring off but that's as far as i can get um so i don't know if that's supposed to come off or not i'm not sure what it does right is when you put the afc ring on you can do single or dual coils that's a pro when you put the afc ring on you can turn the afc ring for single or dual but the airflow might not line up to the coils so what you do is you turn this on the bottom see that i can turn it and you can line it up to your coils like i have now all right now I have it fully lined up to the coils. Probably can't see. So that's really cool, okay? Top fill. The filling system on this is one of the most unique filling systems I've ever seen. You undo the top cap, but then the fill system's on the sides and it goes with the AFC ring on, it goes directly into the tank and it works really well. I have to give them that. That is a big pro. The filling system on this is awesome. It's one of the best I've seen on like a GTA slash RDTA, okay? Because this is basically like an RDTA. You can adjust the airflow by just turning the top, and then you can also adjust this by turning, put the airflow wherever you want it. I'm gonna close down the airflow just a smidge. Really nice. Now, there is a con to the Pilgrim. The chimney section on the top cap that goes over the coils is way too small. The build deck isn't a big build deck. So if you're gonna do 27, 28 gauge aliens, make sure it's a 2.5 millimeter ID, inner diameter, that's what ID stands for, um, or else you're gonna have a tough time, it's gonna have shorts, you're gonna have issues, you're gonna have like a bunch of problems. Even wicking on this with the build that I have in it, it's having a tough time to wick, even though my Kinovate cotton hasn't gotten fully saturated from the build. I did the build, now we're at FaceTime. Um, you know, it, it still hasn't fully wicked up yet, and, um, you know, it is what it is. But you can turn it upside down, it won't leak. Okay, you can have it sideways with the airflow down. See the airflow? And it won't leak. Okay, you can do it like that and it's not gonna leak, okay? See, I can hold it there forever, all right? So I like that, okay? 
good threads, good O-rings. Everything's good on it. Good machining. I like how you can use goons and 510 drip tips with the two different top caps. That's a pro. Wicking, mm, I'm having a tough time with it wicking right now. It could be user error. It could be because I have too big of coils inside of this right now, uh, to which equals too much cotton, even though I thinned it out. It's just not really wicking uh, the way I thought it would wick. I think I have two big IDs in there, and then there's too much cotton in the channels. It might be kind of like choking it off, even though it doesn't seem like it's choked off. Um, I definitely think it's too big of a coil. So, velocity style deck, two millimeter post holes. They're not the biggest. It's not the biggest build deck. It's 25 millimeters in diameter, and then it has a small build deck. I don't like that. That's what I don't like about this. It's too small of a build deck. Um, I love how they went with Goon and 510 drip tips, and I love how the filling system works. I love single and dual coil options. I love how it works all together, but that build deck needs to be bigger. It's 25 millimeters in diameter, and that build deck's got to be like 15 millimeters in diameter. It's super small. It's really, really small. So I would have liked to have that outer chamber wider. You know, I felt like they couldn't have done that because of the fill port. So... <laughs> You got something's got to take priority. Something's got to take priority over an atomizer, and the filling took priority on this. But the build deck, I think, has got to be priority. The wicking has got to be priority, and just put a fill port directly in the center, like all the other ones are doing. If it works, don't fix it. You know what I mean? If it's working, if that style is working, then go with it. Who cares? Velocity style deck. We've all seen Velocity Style decks. I wish they did something different with that as well. I'm tired of seeing Velocity Style decks. I'm tired of them. We've seen a million of them. So, you know, that's just how I feel about it. Vapor production is really nice. The airflow is very nice. It's not too airy. It's not too restrictive. It's a nice middle of the road, but it's a little bit more airy. It's definitely got a nice RDA um, airflow. Doesn't have a conical design inside of the top cap. That's another con, okay? Um, I couldn't figure out how to take the tank off. If it doesn't come off, that's going to be a con. I like the looks of it. I definitely like the looks of it. I like how you can use, you know, the goons. All the threads, all the tolerances are money. Uh, protruding 510 pin for you hybrid junkies. You could definitely use this on a hybrid without a doubt. Peak Insulator Pro. Mm, I don't know. It was 4 mLs of e-liquid. That's not bad. I like the Ultim glass. Or it's not glass, but I like the Ultim tank section. That's a big pro. I haven't seen too many of them, so that's unique. I like all of that, but it comes down to the build deck. Um, the wicking. Um, really, the build deck. It's the build deck. I really have a problem with the build deck and the conical design. Those are the two things I think they overlooked a little too much. You put a smaller build on this, it's probably going to be fine. Less cotton, it's probably going to be fine. But I like to push the boundaries on atomizers to let you know where the level of tolerances are. You know, if I just put a small little build in this and whatever did the review, I don't think you really gain anything from it. I like to know what you can and can't do on products. And definitely don't put a three millimeter alien build in this. It's not going to work, okay? 2.5, I think it would work a lot better. Don't try to do six wraps on aliens and stuff like that. It's not going to fit. Round Y is probably going to work great in this. Um, I just, I like to push the boundaries like I said, and that's kind of the boundary. That's the limit. Three millimeter IDs ain't really going to work. You probably could get it to work on some builds, but the builds that I like, it doesn't work on this. You might like the same builds, I wanna let you know. If you didn't have any RDTA and you're looking to buy an RDTA or a GTA, is this the one to get? Well, if you don't like the builds like me, if you don't like three millimeter IDs, most definitely, this is definitely the one to go for. Um, I really like what they did with the fill system. I really like how this thing works as a whole and I love the looks of it as well so that's for sure now if you like me and you like three millimeter IDs and aliens and stuff like that um, you're gonna have a tough time building on it you know that's just what it comes down to all right the build decks too small the
The posts are too small. They're too close together. It's for smaller builds, even though it's 25 millimeters in diameter. So you can find this bad boy at digiflavor.com, all right? And you can also find it at heavengifts.com. Link on screen and in the description. You can definitely use coupon code AMBITIONS, all caps, one word for an additional 15% off the Pilgrim GTA slash RDTA. Now, the stainless steel version is $27 and the black version is $29. Um, really good price point, under 30 bucks. For that price point, you know, I really can't complain too much. I really, really can't. I'm asking kind of a lot for an atomizer that's un under $30. If this thing was over $30 in the $40, $50 range, I would just tear it apart. But it's under 30 bucks, so you can't gripe too much. It's 30 bucks. Some people might be a lot of money too, some people might not be. If 30 bucks is a lot of money to you, and you like the builds that I like, I would consider something else. But if you like smaller builds, I would definitely recommend it for you. Now, for the giveaway. To activate the giveaway, guys, 500 likes. You gotta reach 500 likes or I'm, I'm not gonna give it away. That's just how it's gonna go down. All right, you gotta reach 500 likes. You gotta be subscribed. You gotta comment down below. Hashtag Pilgrim GTA. All right, and you'll be entered into the giveaway. For you patrons, if you do that as well, you're getting two entries into this giveaway. You're gonna have to pay for shipping, $10 within the US. Um, outside of the US, it might be like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. So if you're outside of the US, you might as well just pick one up yourself. I'm not leaving you out. You can definitely enter, but it's the same price to just go buy one. So I kind of feel like it's dumb, but that's how you, USPS prices are going through the roof. So that's what I got for you today. I hope you found the video helpful or informative, guys. If you got any information out of this review, consider subscribing, all right? Leave a like, subscribe, Comment down below, guys, and um, stay juiced up, squad. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.